Okay, gang, welcome back. We're still solving for variables, solving for variables, <laughs> but this time with fractions. Woo We're not scared. Okay, let's see if we can do this, okay? Now, there's some things you've got to know about fractions, right? When you see something like x over 3, what does that really mean? Well, really, with that, there's an invisible 1 in front of that x, right? So you can really think of that as like this, one-third of x plus 5 equals 2x, okay? That's just another way to write that because if you multiply the x times the 1, it just becomes x, right? So it's the exact same thing. So again, we want to get the isolate the variables by themselves. Let's group all the x's. So let's move this guy to the other side. And how are we going to do that? It's positive over here. So we're going to subtract one-third x, right? So that whole thing will go to a 0. And there's minus one-third x on that side, okay? So what do we have left? We have 5 is equal to, all right, 2 minus a third. What is 2 minus a third? That's one and two-thirds, right? Remember, there's three-thirds in one. So if I take one-third away, I'm left with two-thirds. So one and one, no, I just said that wrong, didn't I? One and two-thirds, okay? Um, X. Now, one and two-thirds. Remember this little trick. When you have a fraction, like uh, we call it a mixed fraction, right? When you have this, you take this number and multiply it by that number and add it to that number, right? So, what is this? This is 3 plus 2 is 5. That's 5 thirds. Remember that? You multiply by this guy and then you add that to that guy up there, right? That's how you get rid of a mixed fraction and you get it just in fraction form. So, 5 thirds, okay? So, 5 is equal to 5 thirds x. Now, one more thing. Well, if I wanted to divide, if I wanted to divide each side by five thirds, that's a three. Okay. Do you remember the trick when you divide by a fraction? What's that the same as? Are you saying it? As multiplying by the reciprocal, right? So instead of doing that, let's do this. Let's multiply. Dot, a dot means multiply. Times, whoa, I wrote it wrong. Ah, three over five, right? So instead of dividing by 5 thirds, we're going to multiply by 3 fifths. Okay, and then we have to do that over here too, don't we? 3 over 5. So what do we have over here? The 3's cancel out, the 5's cancel out. So we're left with just plain old x. Okay, and then over here, remember 5 is the same as 5 over 1. So what do we have over here? The 5's cancel out. And so we'll have a 3 over 1, and 3 over 1 is just, how many times does 1 go into 3? three times. Okay? That's not too bad, is it? All right, let's try it again. Let's get rid of that. Okay, you're in our way. You're in our way. Okay, here we go. Same thing. Here we go. Let's go. I've got a... I've got five halves over here. So, let's get rid of this Z. Now, what is Z? That's one Z, isn't it? So let's let's subtract, I mean, uh, yeah, subtract uh, one Z from this side, and we'll subtract one Z from that side, okay? So that goes into zero. And then, um, hmm, how about we do this? We add two to this side, and we can add two to that side, okay? Is that too much to do in one step? Are you following me? Okay. So, 5 halves. What is 5 halves? How many times does 2 go into 5? It goes in there 2 times with a remainder of 1. So, it goes in there 2 and a half times, right? What's 2 and a half minus 1? Or you could do it like this, right? You could do it like this. If that didn't, if that didn't make any sense to you, this is 2 over 2, right? What do I have here? Common denominators, right? So what's 5 halves minus 2 halves? That's easy, isn't it? 3 halves. Okay? And that was 0. That's 0. So what is 2 minus a half? What's 2 minus a half? We don't have to put that in our calculator, do we? That's 1 and a half, right? Now again, that's a mixed fraction, right? So I could do this trick. Times and then plus, right? 
So two times one is two, plus one is three. So that's three halves, right? One and a half is the same as three halves. So I have three halves z is equal to three halves. You know what, this time it might be easier. If I divide both sides by three halves, what? Right, if I divide you by three halves and I divide you by three halves, that whole thing goes to one, that whole thing goes to one, so therefore z is equal to just one. All right, one more gang, here we go, one more. Yikes, okay, now this time I've got a two underneath my y. I don't like that at all. I like y to be sitting on the ground and not to be over anything, okay? Now you can do a couple, there's a couple of tricks you can do. You can multiply every single thing in that equation all the way across by two. Let's do that and see what it, we, let's just see what we get. We get y, okay? Because if I multiply that guy by two, the twos cancel out. If I multiply that by two, what do I get? 16 fifths, right? Remember, you just multiply the top because 2 is really 2 over 1, right? Equals, what's that times 2? 8. And then what's that times 2? Well, that times 2 is going to be 6 over 10. And to 6 over 10 reduce, how about 3 over 5? Now, does that make anything really easier? I don't know. Probably not, but that's just... Another trick you can try and do to simplify your equations, right? I mean, another simple thing to do on this, we'll do it again, right? Let's come back now. What if I multiply everything through by 5? What about that? What do you get when you do that? You get this. 5y, right? Multiply him by 5 and you get what? Just plain old 16, right? The 5s cancel out. What's 5 times 8? 40. What's... 5 times 3 fifths. Well, the 5's cancel out, right? Because it's 5 over 1 times 3 over 5, and the two 5's cancel out. And so you're left with, whoops, 3y. Okay? Now that is pretty good, right? Because now that's looking pretty much like, like these other ones that we just did, right? So how about we do this? Add 3y, add 3y. Okay, let's see, that would go to zero, wouldn't it? Ooh, subtract 16, subtract 16. Now that goes to zero. So three plus five is eight y is equal to 40 minus 16. 40 minus 16, that's uh, carry the nine. That's 24, isn't it? Then divide both sides by eight. Okay, and y is equal to, how many times does 8 go into 24? Three times, right? So y equals 3. Okay, there's a couple of tricks we did there, right? I kind of like that multiplying through everything to get rid of fractions. That's one way to do it. Or you can do it like we did before, right? You can uh, multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of fractions, right? Or you can divide by fractions to just cancel them out. So there's three different ways to do that. So lots of different tricks in algebra. There's not just one way to work a problem. I promise you that. If somebody says, this is how I solved it, you can solve it a completely different way and get the same answer. So lots of tricks. Here we go. Next video.